We are now recording. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Marion Township Board of Supervisors workshop meeting for Saturday, June 20th, 2020. Uh, the time is now 9.02 a.m. I will call the meeting to order. This meeting, as uh, many of our previous ones, are being done over Zoom uh, because of the COVID-19 and current stay-at-home orders. Um, we did receive an email that as of the 26th, Berks County will be going back to a green state per the governor's orders. Uh, this is something that we should discuss in terms of what we want to do as a township in the immediate future following that, most likely at next month's meeting. Uh, whether we're going to return to kind of a more normal setup or we're going to play it by ear for a month to see how things uh, transpire after the, the general return to normality. Um, the Pledge of Allegiance, as we've done on these meetings, is going to be omitted uh, simply because it's kind of complicated with everybody talking at once. Um, so at this point in the meeting, uh, do we have any public comments, Sue? There were no emails, no okay. phone calls, nothing. Okay. Um, I don't see anybody on video waving their arms or anything like that, and I don't see anything in the chat. So at this point, I would say there are no public comments unless somebody wants to indicate otherwise. Um, the first item on the agenda is the emergency declaration. Uh, we made this around the, the COVID-19 situation back at the March Board of Supervisors meeting with the provision to extend for a period lasting until further action by the board. Uh, at this point, I would suggest that we continue that. We don't do anything with that until we're, we're sure that everything is all clear. Okay. Also, uh, for the record, uh, Irene Selesky is not in attendance today. It's her son's bar mitzvah. So congratulations to her son. Um, Okay, the next item on the agenda is there was uh, an error on the Board of Supervisor minutes, the one motion to approve the March 26th Board of Supervisors minutes uh, should have read the minutes of March 26, 2020 Board of Supervisors meetings were distributed to the board members prior to the meeting. Peter T. McCarthy made a motion seconded by Irene Selesky to approve the March 26, 2020 minutes on a roll call. Uh, the motion carried unanimously. I just forgot. No yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's okay. So Sue has updated that, and uh, I, I'd assume we don't probably even need to do anything with that other than just reapprove it at the next we, meeting. Yeah, we need a motion just yeah. to the, the um, correction. Yeah. And I, I found another one too. You read oh, one. You, okay. Well, then put that on for Thursday, and we'll take care of them both at once. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next item is the Zoncroft Dairy Letter of Credit. All items have been completed uh, per the as-built plan and was, that was recorded back in December of 2019. McCarthy Engineering recommends a release in full of the line of credit of $20,743.93. Uh, being as we don't tend to, to action things like this at the workshop, that's just uh, more of an FYI, Jim. We'll be talking about that Thursday night and more than likely releasing that, uh, assuming the motion carries. Okay. Okay, next is the Jacob Weiss Poultry Operation Letter of Credit. Based on the site inspection, McCarthy Engineering recommends the third reduction on the letter of credit of $20,458. Uh, the amount to be retained is $45,578. Once again, informational purposes, we'll discuss the actual release on Thursday night. Next item on the agenda is School Road and Wintersville Road, the culvert there. The work has been completed and Construction Master Services is requesting payment number two in the amount of $6,361.05. Uh, I spoke briefly to Irene about this and we're at this point still waiting for the invoice for that, the actual bill, uh, to which when we receive it, we'll, we will pay it since the work is done. Okay, the next item is uh, the resolution 2020-6 to allow bill payment at uh, regular intervals throughout the month. Um, we're enacting this in, in a very similar capacity to how many other municipalities have it. We found that we don't had, we did not have one on the books, um, and we want to make sure that we're we're in complete compliance with any laws or regulations around how we're we're paying bills. Um, and related to that is the QuickBooks. Uh, to date, Rick Rule. The accountant that we hired to review our books has incurred about 14 hours worth of, of work. Uh, I'll let Irene touch on that one on Thursday night, 
but uh, it's so far so good. They're, they're be being very helpful. They've pointed out some things that uh, we can do better, things that we can do differently, uh, things that historically weren't being done correct. So we'll, we'll have some, some good, good quality items on Thursday night for discussion. Um, we also, just as a disclaimer, we may have to go into an executive session on Thursday night. And uh, Sue and Jim, I'll be in contact with you early part of the week. I want to test doing uh, what's called a breakout room in Zoom here, where we would effectively be able to go into an executive session separate from the other attendees. And when we're finished, the, the sessions would merge back together. So I just want to make sure that I have that configured correctly prior to Thursday night's meeting. Okay. okay. Next item on the agenda is the website. Uh, the initial design was completed. Uh, we reviewed and signed off on that and has moved into the next phase. Uh, I'll be working with our, our account rep as well as Sal Urbano from Civic CMS about the actual structural build of the website and then testing. Uh, once they have that in place, we can start getting content onto it and it'll be ready for production. Okay, next item on the agenda is the Wintersville Road and Stouchburg Road intersection ordinance. Uh, McCarthy Engineering had determined that the tractor trailers uh, simply can't accomplish the turn without encroaching on the oncoming lanes of traffic uh, or encroaching onto private property outside of the existing road right away. Uh, Andy George drew up the ordinance for the signage that would prohibit trucks from turning at that intersection. Uh, the enactment notice was posted on the outside bulletin board on June 16th and advertised in Reading Eagle on June 17th. Uh, we need to ask Jackson Township and I'll be happy to call them once we have that, that signed and, and in place uh, to post signs near Route 422 on Wintersville Road prohibiting truck traffic from the opposite direction. Um, I'll also contact the property owner about removing or relocating the boulders that he has placed on his property to outside of the right of way. And while we're discussing roads, uh, we actually received a very nice email from somebody within the community about a, a job well done by the road crew for clearing out a culvert. So it's, it's always nice to get uh, a nice email rather than just the ones about uh, things that either weren't done correctly or, or, or should have been done, things like potholes. It's nice to get some good news now and again. Um, also on the road subject, uh, the next item on the agenda is the road projects for 2020. Uh, Franklin went out on Thursday of this past week with Reber and Zerby, and they reviewed a, a number of roads that we would need to potentially do overlays or other remedial work on prior to doing the oil and chip. Uh, we got the email over this morning, so I have not had a chance to review it in, in length, but uh, prior to Thursday night, I will look it over and I'd ask that uh, Jim and then subsequently Irene look it over as well, just so that we're all on the same page. Uh, the reason that we need to do this is we need to, to have the road in a good shape enough that it will be able to take the oil and chip. Otherwise, we're simply going to be applying uh, a top coat onto something that it's just going to fall apart on, which we de definitely don't want to do. Okay, next item on the agenda is the agreement with the Tulpahocken Township to store the excess salt that we have from our contract from last year. Uh, once we have that in place, we would be able to store uh, most of what we still have to take per our contract with CoStars, uh, but we will have to figure out some storage on, I believe it's the last one or two tons of, of the salt, um, which is a lot better than doing the whole amount and should be easily accommodatable. We'll, we'll either have to clear up the shed a little bit or relocate some equipment or uh, consider buying some, some concrete blocks and a couple of tarps for temporary storage until the winter sets in again. And Jim, feel free to stop me at any time if you have questions or comments or concerns. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep, keep plugging away through it. Right. Um, the uh, next item on the agenda is cold patch. Uh, we had ordered two loads and we have used both, both loads so far. We will need two more loads, uh, at least, for, for patching and road work throughout the rest of the summer. Um, not going to motion on it now, but uh, Thursday night, I will be making a motion to, to allow for two more loads. And then that should get us started at the very least for any of the remaining potholes and ruts and divots that we have. Um, additionally, not an agenda item, but just as a side note, um, it was brought to my attention from the conversation with Franklin that there is some, some road work that our crew would be able to execute throughout the township, mostly just uh, shoulders and gutter cleanup various roads to make sure that the drainage is is happening. Is happening. Um, we just need to figure out where we need to do and it's really just a function of time and them going out with the the front end loader. 
digging and then uh, straightening things out, sweeping up the road. So hopefully either by Thursday or by the following workshop, we'll have a, a comprehensive list of where we'd like to, to focus our attention on that. And we can start getting the road crew out. Okay. Next item on the agenda, we have a, a couple of items that we need to repair in terms of equipment. The little dump truck, the, the dump body on it shifts back when put, put into the up position. Uh, Franklin did get two estimates. Uh, we have copies attached to our, our meeting pamphlets. One was for $525 and the other one was for $800. Um, again, we'll discuss Thursday night. It's, it's something we need to do and uh, usually a lo lower bid wins. So in addition to that, the big truck needs some work on the lift gate. It needs to be repaired. And we should strongly consider getting that one undercoated, just like the little truck was a, a year or so ago. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the census 2020. Uh, we have been requested to, to use the meeting room or our outdoor pavilion. Uh, based on our current uh, social distancing restrictions and the fact that the building is closed, I don't know if we can accommodate the request to use the building. However, I'd, I'd be inclined to allow them to use the pavilion despite the fact that we closed the park, being that it's, <coughs> it's open air. But we and should she, discuss, go ahead, go ahead, sir. She was okay with that. She said, even if we could just allow them to be there one day, that would be fine. She gave us a list of dates, but, um, did she? she that they would be happy with one day. Okay. Did she specify how many people they were anticipating? No. Okay. Because, I mean, if we're talking about six people, that's different than if you're having, like, 26 people in the building. Right. And I don't even – I mean, she called me initially. Um, I don't even know if she guesstimated. Um, I mean, this is, according to this email, it's to swear in – census takers okay um but i believe it's not just census takers for marion township i believe it's for like our general area it's okay kind of like got the gist of um but um she totally understood i told her about the building being closed blah 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 mm -hmm. um and that's when she said well if you have a pavilion we'll we'll be happy to do that she said, I don't know what it's gonna what we're gonna do if it rains, but she said we'll we'll deal with that, you know. So um Okay, seeing as it's the, the end of next month, let's let's talk about it at length on Thursday night, but I'd I'd be inclined with the, the return to the green state in Berks to to consider opening up the building even if it was just on a temporary basis on those dates for, for them specifically, mm -hmm. uh, as well as considering the uh, obviously with certain restrictions in place, but doing the same for the, the AA group. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chuck did call me this week and wondered where we stood, and I told him as of now, you know, we're still closed because the state was still closed. So. Yeah, so it, really, we're, there are a number of things in play here. There's the state, there's our local stuff, there's a, a number of other things, but I'm I'm not opposed to it as long as they're being safe about it, and that's right. the the real stipulating point is: are we allowed to do it? Are we even allowed to do it to begin with? But uh, beyond that, if we allow it, how are we making sure that we're not creating a hazard? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me scroll back up to get my, my items. Okay, next item on the agenda is the high school internship that Irene's been looking into. There's a, an interested person who would like to volunteer and help uh, the township with certain things as well as learn uh, some of the civic processes around local government. Uh, I won't steal Irene's thunder on that and I'll let her talk about that Thursday night. Uh, but it's a, a good opportunity for uh, someone young to get involved and to learn and to help us out for certain things that we, we might need an extra hand for. Okay, and uh, Jim, I'll let you speak to this one a little bit since you, you had the helm on this. The next item is the office window replacement. You had gotten a couple estimates. Yeah, I, uh, we have received an estimate from uh, Mike at Mike's Remodeling. Mike is a local resident, uh, lives on Canal Road, so he's a resident of the township. I can vouch for Mike's work. He's done work for me, and he did an excellent job at my house. We're also waiting uh, for two more estimates, um, one from Brubakers and one from Holt. And uh, 
I understand Mr. Holt hasn't stopped yet, so I'll call him again on Monday. Mr. Brubaker did stop and spoke with Sue briefly, so we'll hopefully have a second estimate from him. Uh, those windows, they definitely need replaced. Yeah, they are, they're very bad. <laughs> He had to mop up uh, water from that rain the other day. And had a little river the other day. <laughs> in the wintertime, she freezes. So yeah. you know, it's something we're going to have to address. Uh, so yeah. hopefully get a couple more estimates. Okay. Did you have any luck finding any possible grant sources? I have not. Okay. Uh, I'm still looking into that. It would be wonderful if we could replace all the windows in the building. So we'll keep continue looking into that. If nothing else, one or two windows at a time. If we have to do it that way, we have to do it that way. But uh, right. they, they desperately need to get done because uh, I think there's more wind than window on those anymore. Exactly. <laughs> so, I think you're right. <laughs> um, okay, the last item on the agenda is the Act 537. Um, in, in anticipation of Thursday night, let's get our, our bullet points together as we had talked about at the last meeting for what we want to talk to the DEP about as in terms of re revisions on the plan. Um, that way we can circulate and discuss and then turn them over to McCarthy Engineering to, to go over to the DEP. Okay, th that concludes the agenda items. Uh, I don't have any other additional comments beyond the other items that we had been working on, on previously. Um, I may have some more things for Thursday night, but at this point in time, I, I do not have anything additional. Um, Jim, do you have any comments? Not really. Uh, of course, I am looking forward to the day when we can meet at the township building and, and uh, have some people there to discuss needs and, and things about the township. But for now, it is what it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. And on that note, when we return to the office, I'm going to be looking at, uh, and I'll, I'll bring it up when we get closer to time, but getting a, a piece of equipment like a, another laptop or a webcam or something like that so that we are still able to live stream to YouTube the meetings. That way, if people come into the building, fantastic. But for anybody who is unable to, to attend in person, they'd still be able to, at, at bare minimum, view the meeting remotely. Excellent idea. Okay, Sue? Nothing. Okay. Phenomenal. I think we may have broken a record for the, the shortest <laughs> meeting in Marion Township history. Uh, at this time, it's 9.20 a.m. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Jim. Aye. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone, for, for being present and attending. And uh, have a great week. Happy Father's Day. And uh, we'll we'll see you Thursday. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.